In this video, we're going to estimate sums with numbers up to 100,000. So sums means that we're going to be adding. A sum means that we're doing addition. All right, so realm the following numbers to the nearest 10 and then add them together. That's how we estimate. Remember that an estimate is a good guess, okay? So we're using our knowledge of math to make a good guess. So to round to the nearest 10, 13 is going to round down to 10. 17 is going to round up to 20, and then we add those two together because that is much easier than adding 13 and 17. We could even do the mental math, which is just 30. You don't usually really need to write that one. Round the following numbers to the nearest 10 and then add them together. So 46 rounds up to 50, and 45 also rounds up to 50. And I know 50 plus 50 is 100. So this answer is about 100. All right, round the following numbers to the nearest 10 and then add them together, 31 plus 18. So 31 rounds down to 30. 18 rounds up to 20. And then I add 30 plus 20, which is 50. All right, round the following numbers to the nearest 10 and add them together, 38 plus 15. So 38, because think about it, if we were trying to add 38 plus 15, it's so many steps, we don't know those numbers off the top of my, our heads. So we have to round them to make clean, easy numbers to, to add together. So 38 rounds up to 40 and 15 rounds up to 20. So that answer is going to be about 60. And that was so much easier than working with 38 plus 15. All right, round these to the nearest 10 and add them together, 48 plus 41. So 48 rounds up to 50, 41 rounds down to 40, and then we add them together. So 48 plus 41 is about 90. Not exact, remember, because we did rounding, but it's about 90. All right, 20 plus 44, we are estimating. So 20 just stays the same. We're at the nearest 10. 44 rounds down to 40, and we add those together. Our zero stays zero, two plus four is six, so our answer is about 60. Super. All right, let's go ahead and round these. And this one we could even kind of do in our head without writing it out. So we know that 50 is going to be the number that we keep because that's at the nearest 10. And 48 rounds up to 50. And I know that 50 plus 50 is 100. All right, so this one Round the following numbers to the nearest 10 and add them together. So rounding 47, we have to round it up to 50. Plus 23, we round down to 20. And 50 plus 20 equals 70. All right, let's round 21 plus 36. So let's estimate. 21 rounds down to 20. 36 rounds up to 40, and our answer, 20 plus 40, is 60. All right, so 40, we're going to just leave because that's at the nearest 10, and then 11, we round down to 10. 40 plus 10 is 50. Nice work. All right, let's practice with some harder ones. 87 plus 46, so let's estimate these. 87 rounds up to 90. 46 rounds up to 50. And then we add those together. So sometimes we might not know these for mental math. So we could just go ahead and add 90 plus 50, which is still easier than adding 87 plus 46. So 
zero, and then nine plus five is 14. So 140. Twenty-three plus twenty-six. All right, so let's round to the nearest ten. That's twenty, because the one is below five. All right, and twenty-six. We round up because it's five. The ones is five or above. Twenty plus thirty is fifty. All right, round the following numbers to the nearest ten and add them together. 83 plus 76, so 83 rounds down to 80, and 76 rounds up to 80, actually. And I know that 80 plus 80 is 160. All right, let's round these. 37 rounds up to 40. 78 rounds up to 80, and 80 plus 40, we know, we know that 8 plus 4 is 12, right? And then we just add a 0. All right, so this one, we're going to round 68 up to 70, and 100 is already at its nearest 100 and its nearest 10. So this one, we're rounding to the nearest 10, so 70 plus 100 equals 170. All right, 58 plus 20, 58 will round up to 60, and we'll keep our 20 because it's already at the nearest 10, which equals 80. Great job.